नमस्ते फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल सी एस सी आचार्य आई एम नरसिम लू मधुरी इन दिस लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू कवर स्ट्रिंग इन पाइथन व्हाट आर वेरियस फंक्शंस इन स्ट्रिंग इन पाइथन लेट मी सी पाइथन स्ट्रिंग स्ट्रिंग इज ए ग्रुप ऑफ कैरेक्टर्स और अरे ऑफ कैरेक्टर्स अरे ऑफ कैरेक्टर्स सो सीक्वेंस ऑफ कैरेक्टर्स विच इज कॉल्ड अ स्ट्रिंग so we'll cover python string with uh, functions string operators so how to declare the string in python so string could be enclosed in a uh, double quotation so there's a thing here the string would be enclosed inside the double quotation or single quotation so the straight away what we can do directly we can define the string in python so directly we can initialize it here so this is a st empty string so string is a group of characters or sequence of characters or array of characters so we can perform several operate uh, operations on string without string functions uh this string uh string uh accessing a string in a python so we can use a string always array of character that means what the for example s1 is equal to S one is equal to, let's say, uh, three. S one is equal to three here. Now this is sequence of characters. All these sequence of characters are storing in the array form. So now how many characters are there? Three characters. Zero index, one index, two index. Right? In one uh, zero index uh, S will be stored and one index R. So then. i will be in the second index right so uh, when i say s1 of 0 s1 of 0 so character at zero index what is the character at zero index character at zero index is yes so character at one index this is the way we can access the string here one index so r will be there s1 of s1 of 2 s1 of 2 so this is uh, i so like this so we can access it here i'll go with the example also string string can again denotation string so so s1 is equal to python this is the way we can initialize and declare the string here so if you want to know what type of variable it is st there is a function called str function this is a python now if i want to access it here print s1 of 0 s1 of 0 0 index we have p right so if you want to access a specific char uh, uh, characters so what we can do we can use a slicing operator for accessing the specific range of characters 0 to p y that means what here so this will start from zero index zero less than 3 it is true so character at zero index is what s1 of 0 that means s1 of 0 is what here S one of zero is uh, p p gets printed. The next year get automatically incremented by one. This becomes one. Then less than three. Uh, this is two and S one of one. So this time we have uh, t right t. Then incremented by two less than three. That is also true. S one of two. S one of two. then sorry this is y p y this is t okay now coming to the third one three less than three there is a false it terminating it so that's why it is printing p y like this we can access the uh, strings in python so we can also format the strings so we will see by uh, string operations comparison arithmetic membership identity so now in this you see simple one 
a is equal to welcome to b is equal to k now if i want to concatenate see this is a string this is also a string now coming to this here this is giving error because c is not a this is a small uh, upper case letter so i should use upper case only otherwise it gives an error right so if i use a plus b plus c this is a concatenation strings can be string string can be concatenated all numerical values will be added right so that's why it is concatenating three strings right see uh, concatenate is the operation of joining stuff together strings can be joined using the concatenation operator called plus operator right so this is a uh, string is concatenated now a is equal to 10 there's a string a into 2 we can't do this okay this will be multiplied because the two times so it is multiplied here so 1 0 1 0. this is a concatenation uh, two times it has been a of 3 so this also now what we can't perform other operations like uh, uh, division percentile we can perform only this operation and this plus and this so unsupported that's why it is giving an error the unsupported uh, operand types here string and integer so we cannot perform string strings can be concatenated so this is acceptable so this will give an error because this is a string this is a numeric value that's why it is giving an error so strings can be formatted here so that's why a string format so you can format the string i have a city here so this is the printing method now if i want to uh, format the string i should use a uh, special uh, sequence uh, special string uh, 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 operations here the letter f precedes the string here the variables mentioned in curly braces so the variable which is there in the string that has to be mentioned in the curly braces while printing it f this is formatting hello this must be in the curly braces so then only it prints that otherwise it gives an error so percentile operator used to substitute the variables in a string that's what i have used it percentile is a for format specifier as like in c we have a format specifier a string is yes right high percentile yes this is substituting the string value substituting this so b is the, the substituting this so so we have a several functions in string here we have a length function to find the length of the string so number of characters which are there in the string we use a length function so str this function converting any type into the string here as a new now 2 plus 3j this is converting into string form so this is concatenation converting into string form suppose to convert this entire string into the lower case we use the lower suppose to convert the entire string into the upper case we use so check whether the string is lower case or upper case we use this return the string in lower case and upper case we will use this so a dot lower a dot now length so strip method which uh, function will use to remove the spaces beginning of the string and end of the string we use this white space it removes white spaces from the beginning of the string end of the string now i have a space here i have a space here these two space gets remo uh, removed from the string when i use the strip method function so uh, let's see this so the so Mm, we have a method a function called here is digit this will return if string contains digits now here i have is uh, digits here so then then this will print uh, uh, return true here so here have a character here this will return false here so we have a method called is all for fun function returns true if all characters in a string are alphabet suppose to uh, check whether the string is starting with a particular character we should use the function called here uh, starts with suppose to check whether the string contains spaces or not i should use a e space uh, function so so hence with to check whether the string is ending with s yes, ending with k ending with it ending with t so i should use this uh, ends function and now suppose to check searching for the uh, string arguments 
in a given string we should use the find method it takes an argument searches for it uh, in the string uh, here suppose this searching for this string in the given original string so in what now it up, uh, it occurs at the index number uh, 0 1 2 it start from where here 2 that's why it is printing 2 here so if the string does not exist in the main string then it returns uh, <coughs> then the index it returns 1 minus 1 uh, this returns minus 1 does not exist so we have a replace function replacing the old one with the new one i should use this in banana here na in place of nna and just print uh, replacing haha ha, ha so wherever na is there so split function which is used to splitting the function based on the delimiter now we can delimiter could be anything here dot underscore comma at the rate it could be anything here now no so here delimiter is dot when dot comes here return the uh, splitting the string and after splitting it it is putting in the uh, list form this uh, splitting it and putting in the list form right join to join the strings i should use the join method these are all different methods uh, functions i have covered uh, let me go with a simple exercise here so now in this exercise what we have to do so i should take only uh, remove digits and special characters from the sentence here so this is my sentence here i have to remove the special characters now what you can do here just you have to write a simple program whether the string is having a alphabet if it is uh, if the string contains alphabet take out alphabet and only spaces just i'll write the simple code snippet here so my string is python for data science um, just writing s1 is equal to python for data science i'm just writing it uh, just a minute and bear with me just one second Okay, Python for for forty five data data space have this symbol dollar symbol is there then so I should take out only the string from here now for I'm I'm taking the empty string because I should take only the uh, alphabets and spaces for C in S1 so because it is an iterator uh, S2 is equal to if if C dot is alpha or C dot is a space right the character is alphabet or space s2 is equal to this just you have to concatenate this if not don't do anything print s2 let me run and see uh, sorry al ALP alpha should use that method yeah like this it is very simple program okay we can use a uh, built-in function to solve this kind of simple exercises so one more program uh, here find sum of digits in each string in a given sentence what we have to do we have to split it here split the sentence uh, let a simple program here mm. uh, s3 is equal to welcome 
वेलकम I one eight E N C right. So what we can do here? Uh, we can split the string. Here. First, I'll split the string. S equal to L one is equal to S C dot split based on the delimiter. The delimiter is space is the delimiter here. Print. L1. I'll comment that previous one. I'm just commenting the previous one. Which I've done it. I'm commenting the previous one. I'll run it. Now, write the loop here. For uh, I in L one. Take out each and every. I is a string, right? I is a string. From this string, we have to take out only the. Uh, if it contains, uh, uh, right? For C in I, C in I, C in I. Then. What I have to do? So I should sum all this. S equal to zero. S equal to zero. If C dot is digit, right? Is it digit? S equal to. S equal to. S plus int of C. I'm just converting into integer, right? Print i comma summation. Yes. Let me see. Right. So one plus two is equal to three. Three plus four is equal to seven. Two is printing. One plus eight is. So this is the way we'll solve the problems here. But just we have to think here. For i in L one, L one is what here because it's splitting. This is one word. This is another string. This is another string. This is another string. So now what I'm doing here first, I'm taking the first one. Picks up this one. Again, it is a sequence of characters. Again, I have written a loop here. From this, I am checking each and every character. If this character is a digit. I am just taking it, converting into integer form. After converting into integer form, just adding in the digit and putting in this. So this is the way we will write a simple string functions, string manipulations functions, string operations to solve a problems given by the user. If you want to uh, 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 if we want to, uh, if you want to learn more exercises, if you want to do more exercises on the strings and uh, strings related op operations, uh, string related problems, please write your comments. What kind of uh, uh, questions you are expecting from me? What kind of uh, solution you are expecting from me? Please write your comments in the comment box. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot.